ओके हेलो क्लास टुडे आवर टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन इज मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट ऑफ करंट करंट द फ्लो ऑफ चार्जेस दैट इज कॉल्ड द करंट इट हैज द इफेक्ट्स लाइक हीटिंग इफेक्ट व्हेन द करंट फ्लो थ्रू ए कंडक्टर इट प्रोड्यूस द हीट इट आल्सो हैज द मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट मींस व्हेन अ करंट फ्लो थ्रू ए कंडक्टर और वायर इट प्रोड्यूस द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड अराउंड इट that is called the magnetic effect of current now what is the magnetic field magnetic field like electric field the space around the charge where its influence on the other another charge can be experienced is called the electric field similarly magnetic field is the space around the magnet or the current carrying conductor in which its magnetic effect is experienced is called the magnetic field for magnetic field the source considered to be a vector form that is current element we use this word in this topic so many times current element because current is a scalar quantity and length of conductor is a scalar quantity but when we considering the length in the direction of current we can consider it as a vector form which is called the current element and that is the source of magnetic field so electric field the source of electric field is a scalar quantity that is charge and source of magnetic field is a vector quantity that is called the current element firstly it was given by the oersted that a current carrying conductor produce the magnetic field around it according to his experiment when a current carrying wire is placed and a magnetic needle is placed near the current carrying wire magnetic needle near the current carrying wire the deflection of needle gives the proof for the presence of magnetic field around that wire this is the oersted experiment and according to him how we calculate the direction of this magnetic field by using the right hand thumb rule what is the right hand thumb rule if a current carrying wire is grasped in the right hand and this thumb points the direction of current then the curling of fingers will point out the direction of magnetic field like this around the wire this is the magnetic field lines around this wire current carrying conductor and with the change of direction of current the magnetic field direction is also changes we know that when a charge is placed in an electric field it experience the force that is q e that is in, that we have studied in electrostatics that the force on the charge when placed in electric field is q e this is called electric lorentz force similarly when a charge of velocity v is placed in a magnetic field here e is used to represent the electric field here b is used to represent the magnetic field then this charge is also experience a force that is b q v in vector form if we write the vector here this is the vector form but if we write this value in vector form this is cross product again and in plus 1 we have studied that a cross b is a c vector again the right hand thumb rule a cross b c vector so this f vector is perpendicular to the plane of v vector and b vector so this is the magnetic lorentz force and the sum of these two where the two fields are present the total is called the lorentz force so keep in mind that the charge in electric field experience the force the charge in magnetic field is also experience the force but the difference is that electric field ex exert the force on static charge as well as on moving charge but magnetic field exert the force on moving charge because if the velocity is zero then the no force will be exerted on that charge in the magnetic field okay now the next is biot severs law that is the basic law in electricity and magnetism which is used to find the magnetic field by uh, find the magnetic field of a current carrying conductor that is biot severs law biot severs 
बायोट सॅवट ला ला बेसिक ला दिस इज द करंट कॅरिंग कंडक्टर एक्स वाय कॅरिंग द करंट आय दिस इज अवर ऑब्झर्वेशन पॉइंट वेअर वी हॅव टू कॅल्क्युलेट द मॅग्नेटिक फील्ड produced by this conductor magnetic field produced by this conductor and it is at the distance r from this current carrying conductor for using this law first we consider the small part of this length that is called current element small part that is the dn and this dn ab if we consider dl and idl vector is the current element in the direction of current this is the angle theta this is the angle theta this angle is between current element direction r and unit vector of observation point p unit vector of observation point p so we considering the small element so small amount of magnetic field is proportional according to this law proportional to directly proportional to the current directly proportional to the current element length and directly proportional to the sine of angle between the current element and the point of observation but this is inversely proportional to the square of distance between the observation point and the center of this current element this is bio severt law that is due to the small part of current carrying conductor the magnetic field is proportional to these terms and when this proportional is removed with a constant that is called constant of proportionality that is equal to k and its value this value its value will depend upon nature of medium in which this current carrying conductor and observation point is placed and the system of units that we have to use to calculate this to explain this now in si system when the medium is vacuum in si system and the medium is vacuum the value of k is mu not upon 4 pi now we have the term mu not that is called the absolute permeability of the vacuum or free space absolute permeability and here its value is 10 raised to power minus 7 tesla per ampere meter now what is this tesla this is the si unit of magnetic field b that we have defined magnetic lorentz force that is b f upon q v when the force is newton q is coulomb and velocity is meter per second then the magnetic field is said to be 1 tesla then how we write db is a mu not upon 4 pi i dl sin theta upon r square and in vector form how we write mu not upon 4 pi i dl vector cross r cap upon a r square this is the cross product because here we have the sin theta and this r cap it can also be written mu not upon 4 pi i dl vector r vector upon a r cube this is for the small part then how we considering the total magnetic field total magnetic field is the summation of this small db vector and its direction again it is a cross product so direction is again right hand thumb rule how we consider here this is the direction of current these fingers are at this point they are inward pointing inward this so this is the magnetic field due to this small part at the point p perpendicular to the plane of this board or when you write on paper perpendicular to the plane of paper and inward inward direction inward this is called right hand thumb rule so this is biot severt's law which is used to find the magnetic field for a current carrying conductor at the observation point then we have some applications for this biot severt's law 
and the first application very important application that is at the center of magnetic field at the center of circular loop magnetic field at the center of circular loop here we consider a circular loop carrying the current i center o again to find we consider the small element this is of observation point at a distance r or we can say the radius of the circular loop so here the current i is flowing so this is the small length dl vector this is at 90 degree so first we apply this bio sabert law small dd vector is mu not upon 4 pi i dl vector r cap r square i dl vector r cap r square this is current element 90 degree so this cross product is a maximum and in magnitude form mu not upon 4 pi i dl upon r square and for total magnetic field we neglect this we considering it as a closed loop so we considering dd that is mu not upon 4 pi i dl upon r square or this is mu not upon 4 pi i upon r square dl where this dl on this current loop is a 2 pi r that is the circumference 2 pi r then what we got here mu not upon 4 pi i r square into 2 pi r and this r is cancelled and we can write it mu not 2 pi i upon 4 pi r or if n terms you can say mu not upon 4 pi 2 pi n i upon r this is the magnetic field at the center of a current carrying loop by using the bio sabert law again how we find the direction if we considering here inward 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 means when the current is clockwise when the current is clockwise the magnetic field at the center of the loop is inward perpendicular to the plane of loop and inward and if the current is anti clockwise then it become outward perpendicular to the plane and outward and there is a one clock rule which we considering as a clock rule if we say the current loop the face towards us the face of loop towards us appear to carry the current anti clockwise so anti clockwise that it appear as a north pole and if it is appear as clockwise then it is consider as a south pole means this current carrying loop is also consider as a dipole if the one face that is towards us and the current is appear in clockwise direction that is consider as a south pole ta piche wala ki hoega as a north pole so this is the clock rule which is used to to uh, find the direction in the magnetic field of a current loop okay ji then next is magnetic field at the axis of a current loop magnetic field at the axis of a current loop this is again the application of this bio sabert law at the axis here we again considering the loop this is same as we have studied in the electric field loop placed in y z plane placed in a y z plane this is y and this is z this is center o radius r considering the current here considering the current here this one now we have this point p observation point at a distance x from the center of this loop at a distance x now we have to calculate the magnetic field at p by the current in this loop again by using bio sabert law we considering the small length that is called the 
करंट एलिमेंट अगेन ए बी विद सी सेंटर एंड द डिस्टेंस वी हैव कंसीडरिंग एज अ ए डिस्टेंस ए डिस्टेंस देन और वी कैन से दैट ए डिस्टेंस दिस इज 90 डिग्री now small element this one is the direction small magnetic field at this point magnetic field due to this what should be the magnetic field this right hand rule it should be upward direction db vector due to this small element it should be in a upward direction that is an angle theta z axis this will be resolved into two components db cos theta and here db sin theta and again we considering the diametrically opposite of current element opposite a dash b dash c dash point again same distance now the current due to this current element what should be the direction outward this is the direction db dash vector angle theta it can be resolved into two components db dash cos theta and db dash sin theta so the magnitude is same so these two components cancel the effect of each other and these two components give the total magnetic field due to this these two elements it means the two elements at the diametrically opposite to this current loop all the cos components they cancel each other and the sine components they get added and the total magnetic field is a db sin theta now what is the db db vector magnitude and db dash vector magnitude is the same direction is opposite but their magnitude is same then what is the magnitude mu not upon 4 pi i dl upon a square mu not upon 4 pi i dl upon a square then what is the sin theta how we calculate here sin theta angle in this direction what is the sin theta angle in this direction sin theta is a r upon a or we can say r upon r square r square upon x square square root now what is the a here r square plus x square now the total magnetic field integral mu not upon 4 pi i dl upon a square into sin theta r upon r square x square or we can say mu not upon 4 pi i r upon this is again this value means r square x square 3 by 2 into integral of dl 3 by 2 into integral of dl and what is this dl again mu not upon 4 pi i r r square x square 3 by 2 2 pi r or we can say mu not upon 4 pi 2 pi i r square this is r square x square 3 by 2 that is along this is p x axis p x axis the direction we give or we can say if we have the n number of terms this this value become mu not upon 4 pi 2 pi i n r square it can be written as pi r square that should be the area of the loop this loop then how we write this magnetic field this is mu not upon 4 pi this 2 i this value 2 i n a upon r square upon r square plus x square 3 by 2 that is along px so this is the applications in uh, in the center of loop and the axis of loop by using the biosegot law 
ओके नेक्स्ट एप्लीकेशन इज मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू स्ट्रेट कंडक्टर बाय यूजिंग बायोट सेबर्ट्स लॉ स्ट्रेट कंडक्टर थर्ड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बायोट सेबर्ट लॉ वी हैव दिस स्ट्रेट कंडक्टर एक्स वाई कैरिंग करंट आई फ्रॉम एक्स टू वाई पी इज अवर ऑब्जर्वेशन पॉइंट फ्रॉम पॉइंट सी इट्स डिस्टेंस इज ए टू बाय यूजिंग दिस बायो सेबर्ट लॉ वी कंसिडर द स्मॉल एलिमेंट डी एल वैक्टर From its center, the P point is at a distance r, and the distance between C and O is equal to n. C O is equal to n. This is angle theta, and this is the angle phi. And if we consider the end points, limits of this with respect to P point, then this angle is phi two, and this angle is a phi one. Now, by using the Biot-Savart law, the magnetic field is. db वेक्टर म्यू नॉट अपॉन 4 पाई आई डी एल वेक्टर क्रॉस आर वेक्टर अपॉन आर क्यू आर वेक्टर ड्यू टू दिस स्मॉल एलिमेंट और वी कैन से हेयर आर कैप वी कैन राइट इट आर कैप और देन वी हैव हेयर आर स्क्वायर देन व्हाट इज इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड म्यू नॉट अपॉन 4 पाई आई डी एल अपॉन आर स्क्वायर sin theta because this this become one only when this angle is 90 degree but here the angle is theta so what we got here mu not upon 4 pi ideal sin theta upon r square this is equation number 1 now in this triangle triangle poc triangle poc theta plus phi is equal to 90 degree because this angle is 90 So the sum of these two is equal to 90. Then theta is 90 minus 5. And if we take the sine theta on both sides, 90 minus 5 it become cos 5. Sine theta is equal to cos 5. And in the same triangle, what is the cos 5? Cos 5 is a upon r. Or we can say that r is equal to a upon cos 5. For this, we considering all these terms. That is, straight conductor, right small element, its uh, magnetic field, and in the triangle. And one more thing in this triangle is tan phi. Tan phi. This tan phi is L upon A. Or we can say L is A tan phi. But we have to use the terms in equation one. So we write here D L. That is equal to a secant square phi d phi. Now this equation one, equation one is written as d v is equal to mu not upon four pi mu not upon four pi i. In place of this d l, we use this term a secant square phi d phi. And in term of sine theta, we use cos phi. Cos phi in this, and in place of this r square, we use this one a cos phi, and a cos phi can be written as this a cos phi can be written as a uh, square is a square secant square phi. Then we use the above values in the equation one, and we get the this term. Now, what we got here d v is mu not upon four pi. This a square secant square phi that will be cancelled out and we got i upon a cos phi d phi because when we get the total magnetic field we have to integrate the terms and integration limit is according to the this phi angle so for the net magnetic field what we do we have to integrate this term to get the Net magnetic field B that is equal to mu naught upon four pi I upon A integration cos phi d phi and this integration is minus phi one two phi two. Why we get the minus phi one? Because phi two angle is traced in the direction of current and it is also in the direction of current and phi one is traced. opposite to the direction of current so we can take minus 5 1 so what we got here b is 
म्यू नॉट अपॉन फोर पाई आई अपॉन ए एंड द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ कॉस फाइव इज साइन फाइव एंड माइनस फाइव वन फाइव टू दैट इज म्यू म्यू नॉट अपॉन फोर पाई आई अपॉन ए देन वी हैव साइन फाइव टू माइनस माइनस साइन फाइव वन माइनस फाइव वन बट वी गॉट म्यू नॉट अपॉन फोर पाई आई अपॉन ए दैट इज साइन फाइव वन प्लस साइन फाइव टू that is b magnetic field due to the straight conductor in finite straight conductor placed in the plane of paper what is the magnetic field magnetic field of straight conductor by using the bio savart law mu not upon 4 pi i a sin phi 1 plus sin phi 2 but if the conductor this is this is the conductor of finite length but if the conductor is infinite infinite what is the maximum value of these angles maximum value of sine angle that is equal to 90 degree sine 90 here we put sine 90 sine 90 that is 1 and what we got mu not upon 4 pi 2 i 1 plus 1 2 i upon a so this is the magnetic field for the infinite length of straight conductor okay so this is the bio savart law and its applications that is at the center of the coil at the axis of the coil and due to the straight conductor we have the three formulas at the center at the axis of coil and at the uh, and due to the straight conductor this is of finite length and this is of uh, infinite length now for the next we have a topic ampere's circuital law very important term in this magnetism chapter ampere's circuital law ampere's circuital law is a straight that line integral of magnetic field now this is called line integral b dot dl is mu not i means the line integral of magnetic field for a closed circuit for a closed path is mu not times the current flowing through the circuit this is the ampere's circuital law we have to prove this law for circular path as well as for the arbitrary path for the circular path we consider the conductor straight conductor carrying the current and what about the magnetic field lines circle around the this straight conductor by using the this right hand thumb rule we consider one circle o center point p r radius this is magnetic field lines and here the magnetic field is tangent to this circular path and if we consider the small element pq that is the dl vector its direction is also tangent to this circular path they are in same direction so b dot dl is equal to b dl cos 0 because they are in same direction so what we got here b dl we got here b dl and this is we consider as infinite straight conductor and the value for this that we have proved in last article 2i upon r mu not upon 4 pi 2i upon r then we have b dot dl is equal to mu not upon 4 pi 2 i r dl and to, but we integrate here 2 i r integral dl then mu not upon 4 pi 2 i r this integral is 2 pi r circumference of this circular path that is 2 pi r so what we got here mu not i that is the ampere's circuital law we just take a straight conductor take a circular path take the uh, dot product of b vector and uh, small element then put the value and get the value and this is for regular path and what about for the irregular or arbitrary path but path should be closed closed hona chahiye then this is x1 we consider this irregular path around this straight conductor who carry the current i now we have the different paths of this we considering the different paths that is point a b c 
and this we consider d theta 1 d theta 2 and if we take a one more thing d there we have the d theta 3 part and what about this l1 dl2 and here dl3 now the different points then we have to prove again the ampere circuital law and for that this d theta 1 d theta 2 and this d theta 3 and so on is equal to 2 pi that is a 1 uh, 360 degree around the point in closed circuit and how we define the angle d theta 1 arc upon radius this is arc upon radius different irregular path r1 d theta 2 dl2 upon r2 d theta 3 dl3 upon r3 and uh, so now different points r is different either the current is same but r is different so we have a different value here b1 b2 b3 that is b1 is how we write here mu naught upon 4 pi 2i upon r1 b2 is mu naught upon 4 pi 2i upon r2 and so on different values now this b dot dl closed form is written as b1 same direction so b1 dl1 b2 dot dl2 and so on same tangent so b1 dl1 b2 dl2 b3 dl3 or we can say mu naught upon 4 pi 2i is the common in each term dl upon r1 dl2 upon r2 dl3 upon r3 and so on and these terms are considered as mu naught upon 4 pi 2i d theta 1 d theta 2 d theta 3 and so on and what about this 2 pi so mu naught upon 4 pi 2i into 2 pi so what we got here mu naught i that is called the ampere's circuital law very important term that is ampere's circuital law we have proved it for the circular path and for the arbitrary irregular path this is line integral of magnetic field line integral dl vector is called line integral ds vector is called surface integral so now we have the applications for it the first application is solenoid long solenoid inside of the solenoid we have calculated the magnetic field by using this uh, ampere's circuital law first solenoid that is solenoid form and we have to calculate this we consider this closed path this this closed path a b c d let me have the term here that we use for this that is the current current i terms and current i here then how we write this closed b dot dl vector a b c d this is a to b b dot dl this is b to c b dot dl c to d b dot dl and d to a b dot dl now this b to c b to c this is length considered as perpendicular and this d to a because the magnetic field in one direction so this is dot product is from b to c perpendicular and from d to a it is again perpendicular means the angle between b vector and dl vector is a 90 degree so they are not considering now this point c to d it is very far away kafi dur asi a point consider kar rahe hain magnetic field in the center is maximum so it is also neglected so what we have a to b b dot dl in same direction so b dl a to b or b a to b dl now this we consider the length l then what okay so we got this for straight solenoid that is uh, uh, th these are 90 degree 
B and D L vector. This is outside, so it's zero. So total, like uh, this magnetic field line integral is B L, and here N is our total number of turns per unit length, and we got this. This is the magnetic field at the center of the solenoid, and if we consider at any end of solenoid, it will be half mu naught N I half. And if there is a core of any material, then we use mu naught mu r. That is the mu permeability, and the magnetic field is mu naught n i. Now next is troidal solenoid. Troidal solenoid means in closed ring, in ring form. The solenoid is in a ring form. Then how we consider it? We have a ring and solenoid. This is called troidal solenoid. Center O, radius R, and here. what we have the ampere circuital law that is the total loop b dot dl is a mu not number of turns per unit length and what about the length 2 pi r i current this is one and at the circumference b and dl they are along the tangent at any point and when they are in tangent b dl cos 0 Or B integral d l and here B into 2 pi r. Then what we got here? We have B into this number 2 equation. 2 pi r is mu naught n 2 pi r i. And again the magnetic field for the solenoid or troidal solenoid is a mu naught n i. So for straight solenoid, its value is mu naught n i. For troidal solenoid, its value is mu naught n i. And the last application for this ampere circuital law is a magnetic field due to a straight conductor. This is a straight conductor x to y infinite i current. This is a magnetic field line around the circle center O point P R radius. This is B vector P to Q dl vector. Now, what is the ampere circuital law? Line integral of magnetic field is mu naught i. Equation one. At this situation, B vector and dl vector are along the tangent. So this is B dl cos zero or B integral dl or B into two pi r number two. Then from One and two. What we have B into two pi r is a mu naught i or magnetic field mu naught upon two pi i upon r or we can say two i four pi upon r. That is the magnetic field due to the straight conductor. So this is the ampere circuital law application. Okay.